Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at SIRDs and calculations um, for SIRDs. So basically what we need to do first is convert the SIRDs into index form and then from there we can actually kind of work out what the answer is. All right. Now if you're kind of like jumping into this video from randomly, uh, this is following on uh, from the level 2 algebra playlist, which there should be a link coming at the end of this video. Sorry about it. But anyway, here we go. So this is how we do the questions. So first thing is that we've got square root of x to the power of 5, which can be written as x to the power of 5 over 2, multiplied by square root of 3, which is x to the power of 3 over 2. So now, because the bases are the same, we add the powers. So we're going to get x to the power of 5 over 2 plus 3 over 2, which equals x to the power of 8 over 2. And then this could be simplified as x to the power of 4. So that's A. Uh, now looking at uh, question B. We've got the fifth root of p to the power of 4. So that's going to be p to the power of 4 over 5 multiplied by p. Now remember, p actually has a power of 1. So I'm going to just put down that 1 there. And then, uh, again, combining the powers together. So I've got to add the powers. So 4 over 5 plus 1. Uh, 1 could be written as 5 over 5. And the reason I'm doing that is to keep the denominators the same, which means I'm going to get p to the power of 9 over 5. And sometimes they might ask you the question like, leave your final answer in third form. If they do that, then you can actually leave your final answer in the third form of p to the power of 9 and its fifth root. Okay, now we go to question C. So question C, same kind of ideas. Uh, I think I actually put two there. Um, maybe I'm going to change that question up a little bit. And instead of two, uh, actually, no, um, what should I do it? I might actually put it as four. Um, okay, so when we do this, uh, we're going to get uh, x to the power of seven over four in the numerator. And then in the denominator, we're going to get x to the power of half. So now, <clears throat> because the bases are the same, we've got to subtract the powers. So we're going to get 7 over 4 minus half. Now half could be written as, whoa, what happened there? Um, because they don't have the same denominator, and I want to make the same denom denominator, I'm going to multiply the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 2, so that the denominator ends up being 4. So I'm going to get x to the power of 7 over 4 minus 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, uh, which means now we actually can say this as 7 minus 2 is 5, and we're going to get 5 over 4. And we could write this as x to the power of 5 and the fourth root of it. And now for the last question, what we have is x to the power of 3 in the numerator, and in the denominator we have x to the power of 4 over 3. So because the bases are the same, we're going to subtract the powers. So we're going to get x to the power of 3 minus 4 over 3. Um, now, I could do the same um, with how I did with the fractions. So because it, 3 has a denominator of 1, so I'm just going to multiply by 3 in the denominator and in the numerator by 3 as well. So I'm going to end up getting x is equal to x to the power of 9 over 3 minus 4 over 3. Um, and doing this, I'm going to get x to the power of 5 over 3. And of course, this could be written in third form as well as x to the power of 5. And it ends up being the cube root. All right, guys, that's basically it for search calculations. As always, uh, don't forget to like and share this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, um, do subscribe um, just to keep up with the latest content. And if there's any tutorials running, you guys get to know about it. Also, check out the playlist for uh, other algebra stuff around. It should pop up somewhere there. Thank you for watching.